The Cleveland Auditorium, used twice for presidential conventions, is considered the finest and most serviceable municipal auditorium in the United States. The main auditorium was completed in 1922, and the north and south wings added in 1928. The total exhibit area is 260,000 square feet. Fourteen events can be held simultaneously. The main auditorium and music hall have a combined seating capacity of 16,000. Cleveland has one of the best and largest municipal airports in the world. It is located in the Rocky River Valley, eight and a half miles southwest of the public square, and occupies 1,000 acres representing an expenditure of $1,250,000. At night, the grounds are illuminated by floodlights, totaling 500,000 candle power. There are 12 hangars and an administration building. Planes arrive and depart constantly from and to all parts of the country, the average ship movement being 2,100 per month. Through its spacious harbors, miles of dockage, and ample railway terminal space, Cleveland is equipped to handle an enormous volume of trade. Every week, when lake navigation is possible, a million tons of ore are brought into Cleveland. Most of this is sent to Pittsburgh and Youngstown, but Cleveland smelters handle two million tons of pig iron annually, producing one-third of all the value of Cleveland's commodities, much of it going into machinery, with which Cleveland supplies the world. Cleveland is world famous for its paints and varnishes, and here the first gas-propelled automobile was made. It is a center for oil refining, leads in the production of clothing, and has one of the largest lumber yards in the world. Its manufactured products are valued at over a billion dollars a year, and there are over 2,200 factories making every conceivable type of article. No large city has a more extensive park system than Cleveland. As natural beauty, it has no rival offering charm in primeval solitude, or healthy, invigorating recreation for citizens and visitors alike. There are 20 parks comprising over 2,800 acres of land in the immediate Cleveland system, extending like a girdle around the greater part of the city and connecting with recreation grounds as far away as Akron. Cleveland's outlying metropolitan park system covers an additional 10,000 acres divided into nine reservations and includes 90 miles of roads and boulevards. In general, this belt of parks, which will eventually comprise over 15,000 acres, follows the Chagrin River on the eastern outskirts of Cleveland, Tinkers and Chippewa Creeks on the south, and Rocky River on the west. Hiking and nature trails, golf courses, bridle paths, picnic grounds, children's camps, and wildlife sanctuaries lend interest and abundant recreational opportunity. Wade Park, the first park in Cleveland proper, was given to the city in the early 80s by I.H. Wade and from this original 86 acres has grown Cleveland's widespread system of today. It is a vast playground, replete with every facility for sport and healthful recreation at the doorstep of a great community and with an easy access for visitors from all of the Commonwealth of Ohio. Picturesque ravines, rushing rivers, age-old moss-covered forest floors, all beckon to the adventurer who would explore Cleveland's great recreation land. And in the bounties of nature, these natural and man-made preserves cannot but strike a responsive chord in the heart of every member of the family. A natural heritage preserved and improved by the endless care of public-minded citizens. In Rockefeller Park is a unique chain of 19 gardens. Unlike others in the world, these gardens have been sponsored and built by people of many nationalities who have made Cleveland their home. Their purpose is to foster interracial brotherhood. And a significant tribute to them is the fact that a representative of the League of Nations took plans and photos of them to Geneva with a view to using them as a palace of the League of Nations. At present, 14 cultural gardens and the Shakespeare Garden are completed or in preparation. Each garden characterizes some nationality or some central motif. Cleveland has in Lake Erie something that the parks cannot give. It's ever-changing moods, colors and skylines enchant the beholder as nothing else can do. For I am a lake altered by every wind. The mild south breathes upon me, and I spread a dance of merry ripples in the sun. The west comes stormily, and I am troubled. My waves conflict, and black depth show between them. Under the east wind, bitter I grow and chill, slate-colored, desolate, hopeless. But when blows a steady wind from the north, my motion ceases. I am frozen smooth and hard. My conquered surface returns the sky's cold light without comment. I make no sound, nor can I show what depth I have, if any depth below. <laughs>